Okay, so let's just do uh, another example using the binary search algorithm. And I have previously prepared this question, and it is as follows. Use the binary search algorithm to locate the number 12. Now, as we can see, I mean, you can just look down this list, and you can see that the number 12 isn't there. Um, these algorithms, okay, just to, you know, if any of you folk are out there are just saying, well, look, it's not there. Or you know, if you said find number two, and we can see it's, well, it's first in the list. The idea is that it these are used for like loads and loads and loads and loads of numbers. Okay, millions of numbers. Okay, um, these are just kind of tiny examples just to like get you to you know understand what's going on. So uh, let's just kind of take it with a pinch of salt when he asks us to find these numbers. Anyway, so let's crack on. So we want to find the number twelve. Um, and as I said in the last question, uh, sometimes you might have a list and th it might not be on the list, okay? The, the, the number that you're looking for might not be on the list. And this is an example of that question. So, But we're still going to go through the rigmarole to see how we do it. So the first step, and I'm going to write it in steps now, okay? Because it's a lot easier to see what we're doing. So step one is to look at the list and we're going to constantly use this piece okay or formula and this just finds us the midpoint of the um, list that we're looking for so step one is to uh, find midpoint okay midpoint and so that's going to be our n is 11 because we've got 11 elements here so we're going to do 11 plus 1 divided by 2 and that's going to give us 6 Okay, and um, so 6 equals 13, okay, so um, 13, I'll just write it here just so we know where we are, and um, 6 as we know is less than 12, so we can now um, dispose of um, 6 to 11 okay so discard so I suppose this is kind of step one two within uh, anyway okay step step two okay is discard um, values above 13 okay including uh, 13 okay because Obviously, 12 is smaller than 13. So, because um, what you got to remember that these are in order: two, three, five. These are in numerical order. Okay, so obviously we know that if number six is 13, that every value, including 13, will be above um, 12. Okay, so we can just forget about all these values. You know, pick any value above here, and they're all going to be above 12. So. That's step two. So step three would be to repeat step one, but just using um, one to five now. Okay, and and that's essentially kind of what we're doing. We're just repeating and repeating until we whittle down and whittle down to where we want to be. So um, just plug in that formula. We want to find the midpoint. Okay, so that's just going to be. Um, n is 5 plus 1 divided by 2 that's going to give us 3 so 3 equals 5 3 is uh, 3 well, equals 5 and we know that 12 is larger than 5 okay so you know 12 is um, more than 5 therefore discard uh, values sorry about that values <laughs> values less than um, uh, 5 less than 5 so and that's going to be you know 3 to 1 ok 1 to 3 so what are we left with so we're discarding that is, that's crossed off and that's sort of been crossed off. Now we've got values 4 to 5 left. 
So n equals 5 Okay, so now we want to find um we, we've just got four and five left. So when we we want to plug this into our formula, now you might have noticed that we're now using sort of values of four and five rather than sort of every anything, you know, eleven plus one or what we had was we had five plus one previously. But um this is just a note that you know we're just dealing with four and five. We can't right, if we, we include that bit we're we're gonna find the midpoint we're going to find 3 again. Okay, so we just want to find the midpoint of uh, 4 and 5. So that'll be 9, be 4.5, uh, round up to 5, and 5 equals 11. Well, it's an equal, but it's equivalent to 11, it represents 11. All right, now we know that 11 is less than 12. Okay. So, in which case, we can deduce uh, values below uh, 5, um, you know, they're, they're less than 12, right? Values less than, uh, values, let's write it So, we can deduce values below 5 will be less than 12 okay um, in which case so we can you know, effectively cross out the 4 and the 5 has been crossed out so effectively therefore 12 is not on the list it's not on the list Okay. So the list reduces to if we get back, if we can edit that again. Go from Okay, so we've got um, four and five left on the list. So um, we want to find the middle number of between four and five. So um, our, the middle number is going to be four plus five divided by two equals four point five, and we're going to round up to uh, five. Uh, you may notice that. Um, before to find the sort of middle number we were doing you know 5 plus 1 you know we were just plug in from using that and that doesn't quite work for when you've got sort of two middle numbers here um, so you just you just have to kind of realize that you can't here you've, you've got to replace you know you, you just got to basically do that that's but I don't know why um, yeah, so that, so it's five. Okay, so the so the fifth number is eleven. Twelve comes after eleven, right? So list reduces to nothing. And uh, can conclude, therefore, 12 is not on the list. Voila. And that's it. Uh, we may do one more of these, one more example of this. 
for another video so um look out for the uh, well just find video number three in this little mini series see you then